Why is flying possible for birds? You might say because they have wings. Yes, you are correct. But let's find out what actually happens. To fly, a bird must do four things. One, get up in the air. When a bird is about to take off the ground, it uses its legs to push off the ground into the air. This is called thrust. Then they flap their wings to stay in the air. This is called a lift. Using thrust and lift, a bird is able to fly. But it is the unique arch-shaped wings that make it happen. Air flows faster over the curved top of wings than the bottom. This means the air moving under the wings is slower. Hence, there is more air at the bottom that leads to a push. And since the push happens against that wide curved part of the wing, it lifts our bird. 2. Stay up there Once birds get up in the air, they use two main flying techniques to stay up there. Flapping This involves moving wings upwards and downwards. When the wings are pushed downwards, air pressure between them is increased. This pushes the bird forwards and up, while the air rushing against the wings maintains the lift. Soaring Up in the sky, birds don't always have to flap their wings to fly. With spread out wings, they can take advantage of air currents to help them push up or soar high. Third, head in the right direction. Once up, navigating in right direction is also necessary. Soaring birds narrow their wings and glide in the direction they want to move. While flapping, birds can get where they want if they just point themselves in the right direction and fly. Fourth, coming down safely. A smooth and safe landing is as important as flying. Many birds can fly fast until the last seconds and still land easily and safely. To slow down quickly, they change the angle of their wing to be higher and higher, increasing drag, that is, to slow their forward movement and decreasing lift, that is, to help them move downward. Some birds need to slow down for a longer time in order to make a safe landing. Many ducks, geese and cranes use their outstretched feet as well as their open wings to increase drag, acting as brakes to slow them. Besides wings, there are a lot many other things that help them to fly. Streamlined, boat-shaped body to reduce air resistance during flight. Hollow bones and strong flight muscles. Lungs with air sacs for storing more air and flying long distances. Beak and nose fused together to reduce weight. Trivia time! Do you know hummingbirds can fly forward, backward and even upside down? They are the only one capable of hovering for a period of time during flight.